Hello, welcome to another Facebook Friday, right for Lychee Friday. I've got my, what does it even say? I don't, I can't even remember what it says, but it's like an elf, it's like a sparkly elf shirt. Like I'm all getting ready for the holidays. I hope you guys are too. What, um, a week from today is Christmas, isn't it? That's right, because today's the 18th, yeah. So yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys are getting ready, right? Are you ready for hello, Shelia and Teresa? So glad you guys can join me today. Glad to be here, right? We've got a, like a light dusting of snow outside here in the middle of Michigan. It's kind of like someone sprinkled like uh, powdered sugar all over everything. Although not quite so much on the trees, maybe more on just the ground. But anyway, that's all right. So it's kind of a pretty time. So um, yeah, so what's going on, guys? I'm like thinking, okay, um, I haven't done this. I didn't do it last week, right? So I'm always like, okay, what's going on? So hello, Sharon. So glad you couldn't be here with us as well. So happy, happy Friday, right? Um, so let's see, what do we have? Oh, okay. So I have I, I um, am like dying to play with the new stuff. So you guys all know, right? So celebration, we've got the celebration brochure. I can't open it up yet. Next time I do Facebook Live, I will be able to show you what's inside um, and actual pages, right? So we can only show the cover right now of the celebration brochure, but this starts on, ooh, snow in New Jersey too, yeah. I know, I think um, places are kind of getting snow right, right about now, aren't they? So so celebration starts January 5th, which will be here before we know it, right? Don't want to wish like the holidays away, but um, very, very soon we will be able to get free items with every $50 order. Now, the one thing to know is uh, Stampin' Up! changed celebration this year. It used to be three months. Now it's only two months. So you have uh, basically all of January, so starting January 5th through the end of February. So February 28th, celebration ends. And then they're gonna do it again this summer with some more fun new product in July and August. So we'll actually end up with four months of celebration instead of only three, but two months now, January, February, and then later on um, in July and August as well. So anyway, super exciting. I actually, <clears throat> I just had to break into my new stuff. And so the projects that I'm gonna show you are featuring, I will show you this beautiful, I'll show it to you. Um, I'll kind of flip it up right now because honestly, I think, and I, I don't know the names, this is called the Flower and Field Designer Series Paper. And when I was flipping through the catalog and even, actually they kind of show it, so I can show you, hey Julie. So this little spread right here of Designer Series Paper is, what is it called? The flower and field? Flower and field. I'm going to remember that. I'm really going to try to remember that. So um, anyway, that little spread is the designer series paper, the flower and field designer series paper. But honestly, I was like, ah, that's okay. And when I looked at it in the catalog, I kind of felt the same way. And now that I have it, I'm going to try to spread it out so I can show you guys. Um, it's actually really, really beautiful. I think the black is kind of what threw me, like the black background on it but can you see let's see if i pull that one out a little bit further isn't that beautiful like check out that paper it is gorgeous and then i'm going to flip it over so i can show you guys the other side i've got one sheet that i've used so much of i don't even have a full sheet of it this one right here with that guy i'll show you what i did with that in just a little bit but it's beautiful so like really kind of dark bold bright um floral colors and imagery and I love that that floral paper is what is just amazing right so anyway I I think it's like way better in person which that happens a lot hello Miss Cindy glad you can join us um, but it's more beautiful I think in person than it is like online and in the catalog if you happen to have a catalog oh speaking of catalogs if you would like a um, one of the new mini catalogs so this is the January to June mini catalog and or a, oops, I got my little notes caught in there, celebration brochure, um, send me a message. Just send me a private message with your address and I would be happy to get those sent out to you because you're gonna wanna see them. It's great to see online, but I love to flip through the catalog like that too. Um, <clears throat> So anyway, but like I said, in that um, paper in the catalog, I don't think it's done justice. It's so much more beautiful. So I'm gonna um, like be excited to show you guys, got some fun projects that we're gonna make with that paper. And so hopefully you will fall in love with it as well. So we'll do that in a little bit. Um, we have lots of other good stuff to share with you. Um, for example, oh, actually one other thing. Well, 
Let me make sure. Yep. Okay. We talked about that. I'm already like off on my notes, right? Um, I am going to be doing a designer series paper share. So we have, I don't even know because I haven't done, I haven't figured it out yet. Um, but I was going to say we have how many different packs of paper, but it looks like nine different packs of paper. If I'm looking in kind of my little index, so at least nine packs of paper. And then I think there are like two or three packs of celebration paper. Hello, Miss Philomena. So I will try to get you as much as I can. The one celebration paper that might be a little bit more tough, I might not be able to include that one, is the strawberry paper because it's like a bundled celebration. Hello, Sherilyn, bundled celebration item where you get a pack of designer series paper and a stamp set. So that one, you have to spend $100 to get the DSP and the stamp set. So I will let you know, I'm not, I'm not saying one way or another for sure. Maybe I'll get you like a little quarter of a pack or something of that. Um, anyway, but just know that, that I'm going to be do doing the designer series paper share where basically you generally get a quarter of a pack of all of the paper in the mini catalog and then I'll get you what I can um, from Celebration as well. So I'll be posting details about that. So watch for that um, because I'm going to order on January 5th. So I want to um, be thinking about that if you want to participate in the designer series paper share. Love to get you signed up so I can get that order in like smack dab right on um, January 5th and get those ordered and sent out to everybody as quickly as possible. So hello, Miss Barb, glad you can join us today. Yeah, it's kind of fun once it get like around holiday time, people's schedules um, kind of change a little bit sometimes. So um, yeah, it's always fun to see new names um, popping up that aren't normally able to join us on Fridays at 11.30. So thank you guys. Um, okay, what else is going on? Oh, well, so right now the year end closeout sale, have you guys been taking advantage of that? so much is retiring. Like I was flipping through the catalog because I highlight um, like my, um, the August to December mini catalog, the holiday catalog. Um, I go through and highlight everything that's retiring and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's very little that's not highlighted. So just know that if you have not gotten what you want out of the um, mini catalog, the current mini catalog, make sure you order as soon as possible so that you don't miss out on getting what you would like out of that catalog. There's lots of stuff on sale too, so check that out. A few things have sold out, not too, too many, but there are a few that have sold out. So keep that in mind. Things will sell out. Everything that's retiring, it's all while supplies last. And what's kind of interesting, hello, Miss Lori, is some stamp sets have already um, sold out, which Stampin' Up! makes those. So usually, like, it seems like, I don't know, I guess maybe they, they're not going to produce anymore. Anyway, it just seems like usually those are not the thing that sell out, but I was kind of surprised to see that some of our stamp sets have already sold out. So just know that, but get your order in as soon as you can. I'll give you my host code so that you can order through me and you get all my fun goodies as well. So, um, yeah. Um, oh, host code too. It's always on my blog too at gathering ink with a K gathering inspiration.com. <laughs> and yes, you're right, Barb. Flexibility is probably one of the best things in life, isn't it? With people's schedule, like work and otherwise to have like ownership of your time and your schedule. It's one of my greatest pleasures in life is having that flexibility. That's for sure. So I agree. Um, okay, let's see. <clears throat> I think let's jump in and do our first drawing for we have the rhinestone basic jewels, perfect blingy bling right just in time for holidays. So we have lots of names in here. If you shared the Facebook live video or you're new to me and have just signed up for my email list for the first time, your name is in here. So and while I'm talking about that, make sure you're sharing this video. Share any time between now and the next Facebook Live that I do, and your name goes in this drawing right here. I'll show you what we'll draw for next time in just a few minutes. Um, but for now, let's see. The lucky winner of the rhinestones is, hold on, I gotta separate. Sometimes these things get stuck together, so I gotta get them all separated so everybody has a fair chance at winning, and I have, do I have one? I have one in my hand. And it goes to Miss <laughs> Vina Gomez. She has been the hot, hot winner. Vina does a great job of sharing the video, so her name is in here a couple of times. So, and that's another good point to make. Every time you share the video, your name goes in the drawing. So the more you share, the more um, entries you get in the drawing. So Vina is the perfect example. Thank you so much for all of your shares and sweet words, Miss Vina. So the rhinestone jewels will be coming out to you. I'll be mailing those out to you. So congratulations, Vina. 
And I do say this sometimes, but Vina, I think you need to be playing the lottery right now because you have been so lucky on these Facebook Lives. I feel like possibly even the last one or two times she has won. So I think Vina's on a hot streak right now, ladies. So that is awesome. Okay, all right, I'm gonna dump those out because I need to put names in for the next drawing. We will do that momentarily. Okay, oops, so next time we do Facebook Live. And I have to tell you guys, I was looking at the schedule and the holidays are really kind of like messing up the Fridays, right? With Christmas next Friday and then New Year's Day the following Friday. And then typically I would do it on a Thursday if I can't do it on a Friday, but that's Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. So I'm actually gonna be off for a couple of weeks. Um, there's a slight chance I might do a Facebook Live on some other random day. If I do that, I will post in advance because obviously I have to prepare for it as well. So I'll know a few days in advance if I'm gonna do a Facebook Live. If not, I'm actually gonna be back live on January 8th. That's the next Friday, because the first is obviously New Year's Day, so then the next one is the following Friday on the 8th. So for sure on Friday, uh, January 8th, if not before, but like I said, I'll post about that. So you've got lots of time to share the video um, and be um, checking out this fun new designer series paper that I'm going to share with you guys too. So um, did I mention this also? This is what we're going to give away is the beautiful, I just love, this has been actually one of my favorite ribbons, the embroidered ribbon. I think because it's so um, kind of versatile, we can use it. I used it like on Halloween projects. I used it on fall projects. I've used it on Christmas projects. I'm sure you could even use it on like Valentine projects or birthdays or whatever you need. This just beautiful embroidered ribbon has just been one of my absolute favorite. So hello, Susan. Thank you for joining us. Hello, hello. So this is what we will give away on the next Facebook Live. Like I said, on January 8th is when we will draw for this. So you've got lots and lots of time to share the video or sign up for my email list. And just so you guys know, I always put the link in uh, the details above this, or not YouTube, above this Facebook Live video. Um, I always include that link so that if you haven't signed up for my email list, make sure you go ahead and do that because that's the best way to get information like when I do that designer series paper share, I will email about that and I'll post here on the Facebook group too. So you won't miss out on anything um, if you sign up for my email list, okay? Um, let's see, what else do I wanna show? Oh, well, I have to show you guys a couple of um, cards that I have received from my team members. I love getting holiday cards, right? Don't we all love getting cards all year round? Um, but I have to show because these cards were just beautiful. So check this one out. This is from <clears throat> Sharon, who I believe is watching right now. And hello, Dawn. I haven't said hello to you yet. But isn't this gorgeous? The blues, I think, are what I really appreciated. And she actually colored. So the beaded pearls, I bet that mm, I'm going to say maybe Night of Navy, or um, maybe it's the Misty Moonlight, I'm not sure, but she colored those pearls. Connie, hello, welcome, welcome, with her stamp and blends. And then obviously some um, heat embossing with the silver on those, um, <clears throat> Um, what are those called? The point setters. I'm seeing Philomena. I know it is beautiful, isn't it, Philomena? I agree. And she even colored the rhinestones too. So you guys know that too, like the rhinestones and the pearls. Um, what is she saying? Nah, I don't know. Knight of Navy. <laughs> I was like, N-O-N, what's that shirt? Oh yeah, so she colored these with Knight of Navy, she's telling us. Yeah, so you guys know that though, right? Our stamp and blends, you can color the rhinestones and the pearls with our stamp and blends and um, they absorb that color beautifully. So they can, not only are they just like a clear shimmery rhinestone or a beautiful pearl, but they can be any color that you need them to be. So beautiful, beautiful card. I just love that. And she brought us some treats too. This is like the thing that Lily, Cade is not a snacky guy, but well, you can see, right? I haven't even actually had any. Lily has opened this container up a number of times. My problem is once I open this thing, the lid will probably never go back on. So <laughs> I have to be in the right frame of mind for when that might happen, and it's not yet. So anyway, what Lily's been enjoying, it's just this yummy little um, sweet, salty, snacky treat that Sharon has made for us for a few years in a row. And I was jokingly telling her that like I look forward to it, like not, like because I know that I'm just going to, <laughs> eat it up when when we do get it but it's very very good so thank you Sharon we appreciate it and then I've got another card from Miss Sherilyn who I'm trying to think of Sherilyn I think Sherilyn you're on here also so this was a beautiful love that snowman isn't that so cute 
the food equal. <laughs> Yes, Sharon, you're right. That's why it's so addictive. The food equivalent of crack, she's saying. <laughs> yes, it kind of is. You're not kidding. Yeah, that's why, like I said, I have to be in the right frame of mind for my crack food, right? <laughs> that's funny. That makes me think of, they used to call them crack fries. So um, there's a like a brewery place. I don't even know if it's all over. I know it's here in Michigan, but it's called Hopcat. And so they serve these French fries and they put some kind of seasoning on them. And it's like a secret. They won't tell you what's what the seasoning is, but they used to call them crack fries. I think they've like changed the name of them because probably somebody complained about it. I thought it was hilarious, but those are really, really like the best French fries I've ever had too. So anyway, crack fries and crack snack from Sharon. Uh, okay, so back to Sherilyn's card because I love. So Sherilyn has been going through um, pancreatic cancer treatments for I think over a year now. And I think she's, it sounds like she's really kind of starting to feel a little bit better and like getting her, her, um, her love for, she's always had the love for stamping, but maybe hasn't felt so great to be able to do it, but she's like feeling good, you know, feeling a lot better and wanting to do the stamping. Hello, Tracy. Um, so I love that, that she is finally feeling better and stamping and sending cards to people and sharing her love with others. And so this was just a beautiful card that she made and sent to me as well with a really beautiful note inside too, with her own picture of her whole family, which was awesome. Um, Cause I see, you know, it's fun to see people on Facebook, but then to kind of learn a little bit more um, about your friends and your team members. Um, it's just an awesome thing. So thank you, Sherilyn, for the super sweet card and kind of the update on how everything is going with you. And we continue to send prayers your way to kick cancer's but basically. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I have to check my notes because I get a little ooh, get a little emotional with all that too because oh, that's tough stuff. I know that's a, a really hard thing to be going through, Sherilyn. Okay, Whew. all right, here we go. Um, so let's see. Um, let's do our next drawing, right? So we have, um, this is the plaid tidings designer series paper so your name went in this drawing if you put in an online order of at least thirty dollars from our last facebook live video that we did it was um, a couple weeks ago on the fourth so if you ordered any time between um december 4th and last night like at midnight basically your name went into the drawing to win the plaid tidings designer series paper hello miss nancy i know it's beautiful paper isn't it i have still not stopped playing with this susan it's just been probably one of my most favorite packs of paper in the whole mini catalog. So, okay, your name is in the drawing for this designer series paper. You also get the two cards, and I forgot to bring them over, but the, the two, um, the tree angle, those super cute, like the bright pink and blue, basically like turquoise, um, those fun cards that we made, um, you also get those cards in the mail as a thank you from me. You automatically get the cards, your name goes in the drawing with at least a $30 order. If you bumped your order up to over $50, you got to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or our free embellishment for December, which are the beautiful and amazing and carrying over the blue gems. So, all right, let's do our drawing for the Plaid Tidings Designer Series paper. See who our winner is. Oh, Sherilyn, there you are. This March, two years i knew i knew it was over a year oh my goodness that is amazing you are oh, honestly just an, a rock star and inspiration uh i just i love your spirit too so yeah you just keep on fighting miss sherilyn okay all right so here we go we are drawing for the winner is miss teresa hinchman all right congratulations miss teresa you are the proud winner of the plaid tidings designer series paper so thank you everyone for your orders and sherilyn oh my goodness 38 rounds of chemo that is just unheard of right i mean to have to go through that much just yeah, continued prayers for you and to just, God, get done with chemo, right? And get back to um, living living life and making cards and sharing and spreading your uh, good spirit and joy to others, right? So, okay. Um, 
what else were we gonna, oh, I know. Let me tell you guys about what you are gonna get your name in the drawing for when we do Facebook Live again on January 8th. So you've got some time. You can even, or you can even wait until January 5th when celebration starts. Put your order in, use the host code that I'll give you, and your name is gonna go in the drawing to win. This is the brand new Berry Blessings stamp set. And it is a beautiful, like look at all the beautiful um, kind of imagery. And this is one of my favorite sets too because you've got some of that line art imagery but then you've got the little shading and kind of watercolor look that you can stamp right over top of those things so you don't even have to actually color in I'm not a huge colorer like just because I'm not really <laughs> not really that good at it I guess um, so I love these stamps where you can do the line art and then add the coloring with a stamp instead of actually coloring right I wish I was a good colorer I wish I, I my brain doesn't quite work that way so <laughs> yes Barb keep your joy for sure for sure okay so let me tell you guys there are some great sentiments on here they're cute ones especially so we've got <clears throat> Wishing you the the very best. That's that one right there. And then bountiful blessings. That's a nice one too, right? And then you always have a way of making my day. That's that last one right there. So some great sentiments, some fun imagery, and this could be yours free when you put an order in of it, just of at least $30. You're gonna get the projects that I demonstrate in just a little bit, and your name will go in the drawing to win the Berry Blessing stamp set. And then don't forget, if you bump your order up to $50, you get to get the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, and you pick either one of those with your over $50 order, okay? All right, <clears throat> I gotta get things organized here a little bit. So I feel like, am I getting close? Oh, oh yes, Sharon is saying Cher she got Sherilyn's card. Cause I'm like, Sharon, I don't know how you got my card because literally we, I am so behind on getting cards out. My kids, well, no, actually Lily. Cade was supposed to help, but then, oh, this was cute. He was actually helping his friend Brandon shop for Brandon's mom for Christmas. So <clears throat> they were at TJ Maxx doing some shopping for Brandon's mom, Barb, like checking out all these cute things. They're calling me, telling me about stuff, asking me questions. Um, then they had to go over to Brandon's grandma's house to actually wrap his mom's presents. And then Brandon's grandma had to make them some food. So they hung out with her and chatted with her and she helped wrap presents and anyway so he had kind of a fun unexpected night with his friend brandon and brandon's grandma um so he wasn't able to help um get all of my christmas cards i had made my christmas cards but i needed to get i love to put like just a little note inside each of the cards um i send out like over 150 cards so i don't write a lot because i'm like whoa that's a, a lot of cards to send out but then i always put a newsletter in there too anyway we just finally got those all stuffed and in the mail, well, we stuffed them this morning and then actually Cade took them to the post office. So when Sharon said she got my card, I was like, no, I don't think you could have gotten my card unless you went to the post office and they handed it to you this morning. So then I realized, oh, she's talking about Sherilyn's card, that cute snowman card. So yeah, so cards are on their way, okay? So yeah, hopefully I had everybody's addresses too. I was trying to make sure, especially that everybody that watches on Facebook Live, I have your address and could send you a card. And if you don't get one, let me know. It's because I didn't have your address, I'm thinking. So yeah, hello, Miss K. Welcome, Congrat or I'm glad you can be here with us. Um, okay, so I think, let me check my notes, but I think we are ready. Oh, I wanna show you guys one more thing real quick, and then we'll flip the camera down and we will do some stamping. But I have to show you, so we had our team meeting, it was just this week, our Inkspired Stampers team meeting. Um, and so we had some really beautiful make and takes that we made with the Dragonfly Garden stamp set and the punch. And Sharon says she's still making her cards. All right. <laughs> yes, they're a lot of work, aren't they? I know, I know. So, okay, so here is the first. This is kind of a fun. So we did some fun fold cards with, like I said, that is it called the Dragonfly Garden bundle, the stamp set and the die or punch. And then we also use the Peony Garden Designer Series paper, some of the elegant faceted gems. And then you can see, will that stay up? the 
gray granite shimmer ribbon. So isn't that so pretty? So you kind of can flip this up and then just write a little something inside there. So that was one of the make and takes that we made this week. And we did it all virtually. We actually were supposed to have kind of a Christmas party and shoebox swap, but things are still totally like shut down. I do that. Totally shut down here in Michigan. We're hoping, I am so hoping on the 20th that the governor lets us like gather just in small groups and um, opens up like restaurants so that we can just kind of, um, I don't know, just share a little bit. I know everybody has a different opinion about all of that, but Michigan's been super shut down. And then I'm like, I hear about just down the way in Ohio and it's not nearly as shut down. And so I'm hoping that we can kind of open back up reasonably. You know, we don't need to go crazy, but just be able to get out and about a little bit, right? So hello, Miss Cheryl and Danielle. <laughs> isn't that cool? It is a very cool card, isn't it, Danielle? Thank you. So more fun fold cards for you as well, Danielle and everyone else watching. So this is another fun one, again, featuring that Peony Garden Designer Series paper, the Dragonfly Garden um, stamp set and punch and then some of those elegant faceted gems. So this one opens, you go like this, and then you go like that. And this is gonna look a little bit familiar because I loved this style so much that I made another card um, just like this, one of them that we're gonna demonstrate. So I'll give you the dimensions on how to make that card in just a few moments. A similar one, not that exact one, but you'll, you could duplicate it with whatever you would like. Okay, so here's another fun one, right? So this one flips up like this and then down like that. So can you kind of see? Yes, it is gorgeous, isn't it? That dragonfly bundle is beautiful, Miss Philomena. You are spot on with that one. Okay, and then last one. Here's another one, another with the dragonflies. And then this is actually kind of, it could be like a money or gift card holder, or you could even just, um, with another piece of Whisper White cardstock, you could stamp or write something and just like slip it because it's like a little pocket. Know, can you kind of see that? It's like a little pocket right there too. So those were our make and takes from our team meeting this week. Oh, that's what I was starting to say was we originally were going to have um, like most every December we have kind of like a little Christmas party and everybody brings like a little snack or treat or something to share and then we do a shoebox swap which basically that means everyone designs a card and then brings all the parts and pieces for everybody at the party to make those cards. Um, so you kind of like jump around to different um, stations and get to make one of everybody's cards. Well, since we couldn't gather together, we couldn't do our shoebox swap. So I decided, okay, we're doing make and takes instead. So this was a great way to kind of show that Dragonfly Garden um, bundle, the stamp set and the punch, and then also pair it with some annual catalog product with the Peony Garden Designer Series paper, that gray granite shimmer ribbon, and then the elegant faceted gem. So you kind of use some stuff that we've had for a little while in the annual catalog and then some new product from our new mini catalog. So it was a great way to kind of marry the two together, which I love to do that because otherwise we almost kind of forget about the annual catalog a little bit. It comes out, everybody's excited like in June and July, and the next thing you know, the holiday catalog is here and then celebration in the new spring mini catalog. So anyway, it's great to jump back and um, pay attention to things in the annual catalog too. So that was fun to do that on our make and takes. Um, okay, so chit chat, chit chat, chit. I'm like super chatty today. Oh, it's just how it is, right? Okay, so I think, yeah, we are ready. We're going to flip the camera around. Let me get my table cleared off a little bit. I'm going to put that right there too. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like those make and takes. Um, okay, yep, we are ready. Okay, so turn your heads away. Uh, Mary, hello, welcome. Glad you can join us. We're going to do our stamping now. So turn your heads away while we fly through the air and get the camera set right here. Okay, good. My mount was kind of funny the other day. I almost thought like it was maybe on its last leg, but I think we're okay. Okay, so this is the host code for December, and it will be good until Wednesday, January 6th, um, in terms of using the host code and getting your name in the drawing for the Berry Blessing stamp set. I'll keep this code open for the first few days of January as well. So the AYT2PZ29, that's the host code you wanna to use to order online through me to get your name in the drawing to win that Berry Blessing stamp set. And then you get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a few minutes. But first of all, I have one more thing I have to show you guys. 
and it is the happiest of birthdays class to go. So if you haven't seen, I did post the video on YouTube. Hey, Miss Nikki, how are you? Glad you can hang out with us today. Okay, so I was just dying. I need more birthday cards. And I was like, okay, probably a lot of people feel that way. So I decided to design this stamp set. And I shoot, I forgot to bring. But so it's the happiest of birthday stamp set from our annual catalog. So you can see this is one of the stamps wishing you the happiest of birthdays. We've got happy little bit late birthday. Again, the same sentiment as that first one. And then this is the it's your day. Enjoy it. There's one more stamp. And I think it's it's like in a square, maybe about that big. And it just says happy B dot day. And I didn't actually use that one on the cards, um, I think because I loved this one so much. But anyway, so it's a great stamp set. Um, we also included, um, yeah, let me just show you guys. So I don't even have a full pack, but we used a bunch of these are the, um, what are they called? The Artistry Blooms Adhesive Back Sequins. So we used these. So this is what I have left <laughs> of my pack. But you can see we've got beautiful sequins there. So you can get the sequins with your class to go kit. We used some of the Whisper White Crinkled Seam Binding Ribbon. So that comes with your to go kit. And then the Artistry Blooms Designer Series Paper. I should have maybe pulled this out, but this is fun, bright, beautiful paper. And I'll give you all the details, but I want you guys to kind of see here. Maybe I'll just kind of flip. Can you guys see if I do this? So there's that one. And then the back side is kind of a wash. Right, so beautiful artistry blooms, fun, bright, bold, gorgeous. That's my favorite. I love the blues. <laughs> you guys know that, right? I love any shade of blue, basically. Okay, so let me tell you about the different options that are available in the class to go. And then if you are interested, let me know and I'm happy to get one of these kits put together for you. Okay, so option number one includes the stamp set. It includes, um, this is a quarter of a pack of the designer series paper. So you're gonna get like a six by 12 piece of each of these um, pieces of designer series paper. You also get the sequins, a full package, and a full bolt of the Whisper White Crinkled Seam Binding Ribbon. You get the PDF tutorial that tells you step by step how to put all four of the cards together, and then all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, okay? Um, option number one is $50, and you actually get the designer series paper for free in option number one. Then option number two is if you already have the stamp set, so make sure that you have that happiest of birthday stamp set because you have to do your own stamping with your own ink. I can't do that for you in these class to go kits. Um, so you get the designer series paper, a quarter pack, you get the full bolt of ribbon and the full package of the artistry bloom sequence plus the PDF tutorial. So option number two is $31. And then both of those, option number one and two, you can get the porch pickup option. So then the shipping fee is waived or if you need it shipped to you, it's an additional $8 for the priority mail shipping, okay? Option number three is if you just want the PDF tutorial. You're going to do everything on your own. You just want to know how to make the cards, right? So that PDF tutorial is $15. It's always available. Even after the RSVP deadline, you can get the tutorials anytime. Any of them that I have on my blog, you can check those out at Gathering Inc. with a K, the gatheringinspiration.com. They're up in the top section. There's one button that says PDF store. Click on that and you can see all of my past um, PDF tutorials um, are listed on there. You can get any of them from years ago. I still have all of them to share with you guys. So they're always $15, always available, okay? Option number four is for any of my Inkspired stampers. And actually I should mention that my Inkspired stampers, that doesn't go there. That came off of somewhere else, probably maybe right about there. Isn't that funny? No, wait a minute. Hmm. I know it doesn't go there. <laughs> There, I knew it didn't go on that one, right? Because the blues are on there. I was like, wait a minute. Actually, I think it came off. It came, we're gonna just leave it on there. <laughs> uh, yes, you did order the PDF. Thank you, Susan, I appreciate that. Um, and let me know if you have any questions on that. I know what happened. This one came off of my package. That's what it was. But we'll just add it to that one right there. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. 
Oh, PDF tutorial. It's always free to my team too. Any of my Inkspire stampers can get any of my PDF tutorials for free um, anytime they would like. So then option number four is also for anybody in my team, any of my Inkspire stampers, you can get all the parts and pieces for the make and takes. You do still need your own stamp set to do your own stamping, but I give you everything else that you need to make these cards. Everything's all cut and ready to go. That option number four is $12 for my downline to get the make and takes for two of each of those cards, okay? Um, let's see, RSVPs are due by Monday, December 28th, and these kits will ship out no later than Wednesday, January 6th. So let me know if you have any questions. I would love to get one of these fun kits sent out to you. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna move this right out of the way because I'm gonna have lots of room to do our stamping. We are ready to do that now. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna grab my grid paper. Get that lined up. I'm just gonna keep that up there. So I have it. Okay, so I think we're in view. I think everything's good there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys. This is a card that I actually made to send to my top five in sales um, in November. So I send those out in December. So I just made these and sent these cards out to, like I said, all my top five sales people um, in my Inkspired Stampers group. And I had to use, so this is some of the fun new flower and field designer series paper. This was the one pattern that I told you I had used a bunch of. So you can see the flower there and then the stripes on the other side, right? And I love this. May good things grow all year long. There we go. Now we're actually in view, right? And then I stamped um, those flowers on the inside just a little bit there too. So if you are in my downline and we're in the top five this month, you will be getting this card if you have not gotten it already, right? So as I was making this card and kind of inspired by it, I was like, okay, let me show you guys how to make another one of these um, with a little bit different designer series paper. So this time I went with this pa these patterns, right? So it's actually still all part of the flower and field designer series paper that you can get for free starting on January 5th with a $50 order during celebration. Uh, so this time I used the little polka dots and then some of the kind of more um, bold uh, floral imagery. Again, we did the um, little, what is this, the dragonfly garden stamp set. And then we used some of the little faceted gems and some of the twine there too. There, now I'm in view. <laughs> and again, I stamped on the inside. So let me tell you, this is probably one of my favorite fun folds because it's almost barely a fun fold and it's so simple and quick and easy to make. So let me tell you guys about this card. Okay, let's see here. And I can show you. So this is the Dragonfly Garden stamp set. This is the one that we used on our make and takes also. So we've got, you are an inspiration, which I'm seeing Sherilyn's name. Surely Sherilyn would deserve a card. You are an inspiration with that sentiment on it, right? For a true friend, may good th things grow all year long. And thank you for your kindness. And then we've got a couple of different dragonflies some little butterfly imagery there. And then you can actually use this to do your shading if you don't wanna color in. I did some coloring with my blends actually. And then the beautiful field flowers there also. Okay, so let's see, make sure I have the right things out here. Okay, and then here's the coordinating punch too, the dragonfly punch, right? So we've got a big dragonfly and then the little baby dragonfly, okay? All right. So let me get these things out. I want to tell you guys about dimensions of things before I get on with it. Okay, so we are going to start with a piece of basic black cardstock. Okay, so this was probably this was a full sheet of cardstock. All right, so along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. Okay, and then along the 11 inch side, we scored it in half at five inches, and then again at two and three quarter inches. And as I'm saying this, this always reminds me that all of the dimensions for everything that we're making, all of the names of everything, item codes, everything that you need to order any of the products will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com after our um, Facebook Live today, okay? So check, watch for that. It's usually, I gotta get everything finished uh, uploading um, and then it'll be on my blog in just a little bit this afternoon, okay? 
So that's the first step is our card base right there, okay? Then we have, this is our piece of Whisper White cardstock that goes right there. This one measures the four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then we have our designer series paper. So this piece with the polka dots, and you can see that's the back side too. So don't mix these up, right? We need one piece that measures four by two and a half, and that's gonna go right there. And then this is a piece of basic black cardstock that goes right there that measures three inches by four and a half. So then this designer series paper fits right over top of that. This one measures two and three quarters by four and one quarter. Okay, so that's gonna go right there. And then we are gonna do some stamping and die cutting from there. So I just have a piece of uh, Whisper White cardstock here that will do our stamping and die cutting there, okay? Oh, and actually a little, a little teeny tiny piece of basic black for our little dragonfly there too. Okay, so I think let's actually, we're gonna do this die cut first because everything else is punching. So let's just do that real quick. We'll get that one done and out of the way. Okay, so I've got my fabulous stamp and cut and emboss machine right here. Okay. Thank you, Sherilyn. I love that card and paper as well. Okay, so we are using, these are the painted labels dies, and we're going to use this big label die right here. Okay. These are all the other painted label dies. You guys may be familiar. We've had these for a little while. They are a fabulous set of dies, but this is a great label right here. So we are gonna, a lot of times I would stamp first, but I want to um, kind of make sure I get this in the right place. So I'm gonna die cut first, and then we're gonna stamp on top of it. So, so it's a little bit backwards maybe compared to how I do things. Sometimes, I guess, right? I don't know. Okay, so we have our sentiment, the make good things grow all year long. I'm gonna make sure it's right side up. Okay, I've got my black memento ink. And, okay, let's see if we go right about there. There we go. And it's okay if it's a little bit um, crooked. I think that's really not a big deal in this case. I actually already stamped this dragonfly in my black memento ink. I figured you guys maybe didn't want to watch me color, where are my glasses? Here we go. You know, too, too much. But the basic idea was stamping the dragonfly. And it is, can you see, I've got the two different ones. I used, yep, this one with a little bit more vertical um, lining on it, I guess. This one to me is a little more horizontal. So I used this guy right here and stamped it in black memento ink. I colored the inside little body of my dragonfly, and this is um, Smoky Slake, the dark pen uh, blend, and then this is Flirty, fl Flirty Flamingo, the dark blend on this one. And what I like to do is, and I really want my head down further, oh my gosh, maybe those glasses, I'm not sure. Isn't that funny, I put my glasses on, but I think it's far enough away that I don't really want my glasses on right now. Okay, so I'm gonna put them up on top of my head. But what I like to do, I only color along the top. So instead of coloring along the bottom, you can see how I flipped it upside down. I don't know, there's something about it for me that I can see a little bit better um, along the top than the bottom. So basically just color along the top and I flipped it over here and colored along the top right there. And then I'm just going to fill it in. So I'm really not even shading on this one. I think there's enough detail already there that we don't need a lot of um, light and shading on our um, <clears throat> dragonfly. Okay, so now hopefully I left myself probably like barely enough room to actually hold on to this guy and get it centered and punch, but that looks good. Okay, alrighty. Now I think we can kind of start putting things together. Um, actually, there's one more bit of stamping, isn't there? I'm trying to find my little grid paper. This is my little scrap piece of grid paper. Are we still in view? I think things tend to like get strewn around a bit here when I'm stamping. Okay, so this is my inside piece. I'm gonna use my Flirty Flamingo ink, and you can see this is a really big stamp, so I'm gonna stamp that right about there. So I've got my extra little scrap of paper 
so I get it dirty and not my other grid paper, right? Okay, so there's that. That's gonna go on the inside of our card. I think I'm done with those. All right, so now, let's see. Can I start putting things together? Okay, here, let's get the card in front of us <laughs> so I know what I'm doing as well as you know what you are doing. Okay, so this is gonna run out any second now. I can see, because that red, I did bring another one. I was um, aware of that. We'll see how, maybe, maybe I'll get through this, who knows. Okay, so we're gonna fold this in half, and then I scored it at that two and three quarters, so that's gonna do the flap back like that, okay? So the card opens like that. It's a little bit hard to see with just the black. Once we add, are white on here. You can see that part a little bit better, right? Okay, so there's that. Then we can add, make sure I have the right one. <laughs> Since it's the same front and back, I can see like putting adhesive on the wrong side and then being really ornery with myself that I did it wrong. So that one's gonna go right there. I'm gonna press pretty firmly because I'm trying to get that crease down there too. Okay, so now we're gonna add these pieces. So we're gonna add some adhesive on the back of this guy right here and that's going to go on there and then we only want to put adhesive on half of this okay because you don't want adhesive over here but you do want quite a bit of adhesive right so it will stay on here well wow, okay so that is just gonna get added right there, right? So no adhesive on this half though, because you don't want that to stick down on there, right? Okay, next we are going to add our sentiment. Okay, I love that label too, isn't that so? There's a little bit of embossing on the inside there. Isn't that so pretty? Okay, so we're gonna add, may good things grow all year long. Then we have our little dragonfly. We are gonna add, oops, I just popped right through there. <laughs> add a dimensional behind him. Okay. We're gonna add him maybe right about there. Now we need a little baby, um, a black. So we're gonna just use that little guy right there. Punch that up. Okay, good to go. I do want to grab my little silicone mat because these little guys, when you're trying to put adhesive on something so little, I know I'm gonna get it on my grid paper. So we'll scoot that out of the way. So that helps me not get it on my grid paper, basically. Okay, next I have the Elegant Faceted Gems. Hello, Miss Diana. Glad you can be with us today and we're gonna add just one of these little clear ones. Just have to give a little, oops, that kind of flung itself over but I don't think it's stuck to anything. So we can, love my paper snips for this really. Add that little baby right on there, just give a little bit of sparkle. And then last step, this is some of the Playful Pets ribbon combo pack so some of the black and white baker's twine i thought this was kind of fun when i made this card i had i was at this point i'm like oh i feel like it just needs a little something else i was trying to decide on a ribbon that i could use and i kind of fell in love with this black and white stripe right kind of just adds it certainly works well with it right with the other black and white happening on our card as well. And I just kind of put that little baby maybe right about there. So hello, Bonnie, how are you today? Thanks for hanging out with us. Okay, so there is card number one. What do you guys think? Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna lift this one up here. So love that new Celebration Flower and Field Designer Series paper. And again, you can get that for free with your $50 order starting on January 5th, okay? All right, so that's card number one. Now, okay, I am gonna clean things off. Love my chamois, right? You guys all have a chamois, I hope. Gotta have a chamois. <laughs> I'm glad you like that card, Philomena. Thank you very much. 
Okay, so yeah, we gotta clean things off a little bit with our chamois so I can put them away, have it all ready to go. So that is one of the cards that you will get for free with an online order using the host code, which is that one, the AYT2PZ29 that's also on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, so do you guys remember the other card that I showed you that had that fun fold? So this is the one, thank you, Teresa. This is the one that I made. So similar idea, right, with the fun folds, right? And it uses more of that flower and field designer series paper I love. So you can see like this one is um, so much more bright. Thank you, Sue, I appreciate that share. <laughs> and Anna, you love your chamois too, that's awesome. I know, I love mine for sure. Um, but I love the, the dark, the black kind of background, but then with the pop of color um, with that. And I actually used, I think it says that Bumblebee is the coordinating color, but I actually used um, Crushed Curry because I wanted it to be a little bit brighter. Yeah, I think either one would work. But okay, so let me give you the details on this one as well okay Ooh, and i used a new stamp set so the thank you is from right here the sweet ice cream stamp set so this is going to be a super fun if you guys haven't seen any sneak peeks of this yet this is going to be a great um suite of products from our next mini catalog with all the fun um kind of ice cream imagery but then great sentiments too and i love um, kind of the font and what they say, right? So we've got the traditional happy birthday and thank you. You can always use more of those, right? This is cute. You could say thank you with sprinkles on top or happy birthday, hope it's sweet. You're so cool, treat yourself and you melt my heart. So some fun sentiments here. And then those are just, like I said, super versatile. You're gonna be able to use those all the time, right? So great new stamp set that you'll be able to order starting on January 5th. Unless you wanna get the starter kit early, then you can order any of these products in your starter kit. Any of the new mini catalog products you can get right now if you cannot wait, if you can't stand to wait. The other fun thing is once you get your starter kit, then you are a demonstrator and you get demonstrator perks like being able to get free celebration stuff right now. As demonstrators, we can get free celebration product with every $50 order starting in December. We don't have to wait until January. So uh, yes, and Sue's saying she loves the fonts in the sweet ice cream. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's a great stamp set. Love the fonts and love all the other fun detail in there too. So, okay. All right, so let me get these things out and I will tell you about dimensions so you could make this card as well. And again, all these details will be on my blog too. Okay, so the card base is actually this piece right here, which measures, it is four and a quarter by eight and three quarters and it is scored at three and one quarter, okay? So it actually ends up going like that. So that's the card base if you will, right there, okay? Next, I'm gonna tell you about, this is the Whisper White piece that goes right inside there. This one measures three and a half by, I'm sorry, three and one quarter by four and a half. That's that one right there, okay? Then, I'm trying to make sure I don't mess anything up. Then we have, this is another piece of crushed curry cardstock. This one measures three by eight and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter. So that's gonna fold in half. And then that goes right on there like that, okay? Then we have a piece of Whisper White that goes right inside there. You guys are kind of getting the idea of how this is building together, right? So the Whisper White measures two and three quarters by four, again, right inside there. Then when we flip this, actually we'll do this one first. So this piece, that goes right on there is, and this one's different actually, so this is, I won't screw this one up, I can't do that, right? But I love, isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna like, get that a little bit closer so you guys can see. I just, I love, and I was thinking I wasn't really gonna like this so much, you guys, with that the black background, but it is beautiful. Okay, so that piece of designer series paper measures four by three, okay? So that one is there, and then lastly, we have this and I love, this is probably one of my favorite patterns in the pack of paper because I love all these bold, bright. And this kind of looks like, I think I think it's a stamp set that retired, but it looks like, was it like abstract impressions? 
Maybe we still have it. I don't even know for sure, but it looks like a stamp set that we had those flowers. Maybe that's why I'm really drawn to it. But this piece of designer series paper measures two and three quarter by four. And again, that's gonna go right inside there. And then I just have a little scrap piece of Whisper White to do our stamping, our thank you um, stamp on there. Okay, so let's put our card together and then we'll do the stamping and punching because that's all it is. There's actually no die cutting on this one. Lots of fun folds is what we're really after on this card. So, okay, I'm gonna kind of leave that together and we'll kind of build it. Oops, oh, this might be the end. Is that it? No, it's so close. It's so close to being all gone. I thought, well, that would be good to show you guys how to do the refill. Um, I'm sure that's probably gonna happen while we're on here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so to refill your stamp and seal, if you haven't done this, so you'll get to the end and you'll see that red and you'll know, okay, there's no more. The first thing that I like to do, because things do get a little bit gummed up, I like to just try to get as much of that sticky. And there's actually a big glob. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. So the easiest thing I think is just put it on your old cartridge. You wanna just clean that off as much as you can because then things won't stick. There's probably a more like professional technical way to clean that, but I just kind of use my finger and rub it off. So this is all just gonna go in the trash now, right? And then I've got my new, so we've got our new refill. Just gonna open that little baby up. Okay. Pop that out and there's actually no, no guard or anything on this. So then, let me make sure I'm doing this right. Basically you just have to get these little inserts lined up with those things right there. Oops. Which if the camera mount weren't in the way, it'd be easier to see all that. And that's it, okay? So we are off to the races again, I think. Did I end up right here? That's where I needed some more adhesive. Okay. So this one, we just wanna center right in the middle of all of that, right? Okay. Next, we're gonna add this piece right there. And this one, you do want a good amount of adhesive because this one's kind of gonna be opening and closing. Okay, so we have that one. Right about there, I'm gonna press super firmly there. Okay, we're gonna add our white. So this is where you would write your sentiment, whatever you wanna write on the inside of your card. You could even stamp inside here if you wanted. There's not a lot of room. That's why I didn't stamp because I wanted to keep that to be able to write something on the inside there, okay? And then we have our last piece. This is um, kind of a cool pattern here too, isn't it? Oops, there we go, there's that one. And then huh, I'll be using that side more often than not, I'm sure. I'm actually gonna, that almost looked like it was upside down, so we're gonna flip that around. There's probably not really a right or a wrong way with that, it's a little bit abstract there too, okay. So there's our card, right? See how quick and easy that went together? Now I am going to use, again, from the sweet ice cream stamp set, we're gonna use that thank you sentiment right there. I've got my granny apple green ink. I'm gonna cheat and just open that only part way because I only need to do one little bit of stamping. Stamp my thank you. Isn't that cool? It is a great font, Sue. You're right. It's an awesome font. And then one of our label punches, can't even remember the name of this one, but I will include the name and the item code if you don't have this already. But there we go. Pop that right there. I'm going to put this actually on some dimensionals. So we're going to put a couple dimensionals behind this thing. These things, does this happen to you guys? This has kind of started to happen where the, like the little honeycombs are kind of breaking through there. <laughs> so it makes it a little bit harder to pull the dimensionals off. Oops, okay, don't stick to anything there. All right, so we're gonna put our thank you, maybe right about there. And then last step, and I use some of this, is the real red, I think real red shimmer ribbon, right? Is that what it's called? Sheer, real, real red sheer ribbon. That's kind of a tongue twister. We're gonna make a bow. This is actually carrying over one of the other very few items that is carrying over from 
the August to December mini catalog. And it makes beautiful bows. This, I, am, I am thrilled that this ribbon is carrying over because I love this beautiful sheer ribbon. I'm trying not to make it too, too big. And you can see, you can play with this as long as you would like. There, right? So we'll trim that one. We're going to put a little mini glue dot behind it. Scoop that ribbon out of the way. And then we're just going to pop this right on the bottom. And this ribbon is kind of fun. It's like it kind of has its a mind of its own. So you just let it kind of wing wherever it wants to go. I am going to trim that down just a little bit. And there is card number two. What do you guys think? There we go. A little bit better in view, right? Loving these new designer series papers. Going to have so much fun. There's always just, there's always something exciting, right? About new paper, new product to play with. Just love, love, love this time of year, right? When the new things are coming out. Okay, so quick recap as always. Oh, timeless label. That's Philomena. Thank you. She says that's the timeless label punch. I appreciate that because I there are so too many different labels. I can't remember the names of all of them. But okay, so just quick recap to let you guys know what's going on. We um I will be giving you both of these cards for free with a minimum thirty dollar order. And your name also goes in the drawing to win the awesome new Berry Blessing stamp set with your online order of at least $30. Just make sure to use this host code, the AYT2PZ29. If you bump your order up to over $50, you get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the blue adhesive backed gems. So thank you, ladies. I hope you enjoyed this new flower and field designer series paper, right? I hope you guys have an awesome Christmas and New Year's next Friday and the Friday after that. And like I said, I will be back on Friday, January 8th. There is a chance I could do something in the meantime on another random day. I just honestly um, am going to enjoy the holidays with my kids and my family. And um, if I get time and can prepare, I would love to do that. But I'm just not, I'm, I don't want to say for sure. So I'll, I'll let you guys know if I'm able to pull that off or not. So hopefully you guys all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I just wish you all the best for the end of this year and hopefully the start of an amazing 2021. So thanks, guys. Let me know if you have any questions at all. And we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you.